G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me, and what's in this box is going to revolutionize how we preserve our harvest right here from our own food garden. Let's get into it. So did you guess what was in the box? Well, what was in the box came all the way from the United States of America. And it took a long time to get here, but I'm glad it finally did arrive. And I even went through the trouble of buying a whole new bench just for this appliance. And it's gonna go right here in this corner of our garage because it's not the best appliance apparently to be used in your kitchen or inside or in a pantry or even in the laundry. I thought about my shed, even though it's big and could have been the perfect place for it. Unfortunately, the shed gets a bit too hot through our subtropical summers here. And the garage then became the perfect option. So what am I talking about? Well, it's appropriate that the light is shining like a heavenly glaze upon it right here in the garage. It's this, my Harvest Right freeze dryer. For years now, I reckon over a decade, I've been looking forward to the day when I could finally get a freeze dryer for domestic use so that we could use it as another option to preserve the food that we grow in our own backyard. I'm going to unpack it, give you my first impressions on it. I'm not gonna use it, but I will in the future, of course, in many different ways, for many different things, lots of different veggies, fruits, herbs, spices, and I've even got more ideas than that. But let's not bite off too much more than we can chew for now. So let's get to setting this thing up. Oh, I think it's pretty heavy. It certainly is. I'm not gonna be able to lift this on my own. Yeah? You give me a hand lifting this thing, please. So we're gonna to have to bend the knees. We're gonna go from there to here. The thing weighs a ton. Okay, ready? Legs and then move with your knees. Okay. Ready? Yep. And up. Okay. Let's just get it on there first. And then we can twist it around. I think it's pretty well. Watch your fingers. That'll fit perfect. Alright, thanks for that. I was after a bench rather than a table to put this on. Something that had a few drawers, something that was really solid and could take the weight of this thing and could just sort of be purpose built or fit the garage scene, if you know what I mean. You wanna be able to open it easy, so maybe that's okay. And I've got a hose on this side, so I'll obviously needs access to that. Let's have a look and see what goodies they've got in here. Oxygen absorbers, so that when you seal up your produce, it's obviously been dried, so you don't want moisture getting back into it and rehydrating it, especially in a humid climate like ours. You pop one of these oxygen absorbers or moisture absorbers in it, and that sucks away any moisture that's inside the pack and keeps the contents fresh and dry. Of course, I should say that this video is not sponsored by Harvest Right. They did give me a good discount on this unit, but I've got skin in the game. A few thousand dollars worth of skin in the game. And I have joined their affiliate program, so any links underneath this video in the description or the comment section from me are affiliatized, and I will get a small kickback if you go ahead and buy something 
but you can go and click on those links and have a look and get some more details of this unit and harvest right as a company if you want one interesting fact is they've sold over a hundred thousand of these machines so they must be doing something right mainly in the US of course but hopefully here in Australia they'll be making more inroads in the future right yeah let's continue on and see what else we got here so that's that and what are these oh mylar bags these are these uh, aluminium or alfoil bags like chip bags I believe I don't know I'm just guessing I haven't used them or even seen them before but I know of them okay here's the trays oh they're fairly long they're actually longer than I expected and they're very heavy okay I've got a guide to freeze drying Sun's going down, so it's getting a bit dark. Maybe I should put the light on. There we go, that's better. Owner's manual. Troubleshooting guide. I hope I don't have to use that too often. Um, okay, so the power cord. I'm, I'm very interested in this because we're in Australia here and that is an American plug. Right, some type of I suppose this is probably for the pump. Well, I'm positive it doesn't spin around like a washing machine. Well, I've got a few other things that came out of that big box, so I'll just put them here now. An impulse sealer. That's to seal those mylar bags. an oil filter, a vacuum pump that operates with oil. This is heavy too. Some vacuum pump oil. And here is another heavy thing. This I think is the main pump. This here which you can't see very good, is I believe the oil-free vacuum pump. This one here I got specifically because it doesn't mean you have to change the oil at all. So I guess what I'm gonna have to do now is go through this manual and the setup guide, gotta probably get a firmware update and find out how I connect it up and how the thing works. This is just a different and another way to preserve food. Now the other thing I'm interested in is you guys out there watching this, do you have one of these? Have you used them? What do you think of them? Can you write some comments in the comment section below? And let me know honestly what you believe, what you think, because of course this is the first time that I'm ever using one. I've got high expectations. I've done a lot of research on this and I think it's gonna be a great addition to our culinary experience here and the way we preserve food but I'm also always interested in your opinion and yes these do cost quite a bit several thousand two or three thousand US to buy them and even more if you're importing them into Australia I don't know much about the Australian market and if you can just buy them off the shelf here if if some commercial business has already imported some and maybe converted them over. I've got to see if there is an actual Australian plug kit for this. Uh, I can't see it anywhere at the moment, but I've been assured that this is compatible to our grid system over here and our electricity system. So hopefully I can get that sorted out. But at the end of the day, why would I want such an expensive piece of equipment? Well, it's simple really. It's why would you buy expensive cooking ware? Why would you get an expensive oven? Why would you buy a pizza oven, for example, if that's the thing you wanted? Why would you get a Traeger barbecue? You know, those are the things that add value to cooking. They make things taste better. They are extra tool in the kitchen. Do you recoup your money back from them? Yeah, well, it's like so many other things in life. Why do you get that car? Why do you get that more expensive 
leather jacket. I don't know. You know, I'm saying that some people watching this might think, what a waste of money, but then spend money on other things, perhaps a, an expensive overseas holiday, and not think nothing of it. Where, so, so what I'm trying to say is, I don't agree with the argument that this, because it's expensive appliance, is a waste of money and you don't recoup your money back from what you save by preserving your own harvest. I don't look at it that way. I look at it in a different perspective as I've just explained. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know there's not a lot of action in it and it's just a setup video on my first impressions. I think it's a really well put together piece of kit. It's extremely solid, it's very heavy and so I'm expecting it to last a long time and hopefully over this next few months and years I can bring you a whole heap of different experiments and things that I've tried in this appliance here. The Harvest Right Freeze Dryer. I'm very excited to be finally able to use one and uh, yeah I'm going to be using it as much as I possibly can especially now that we're in one of our peak harvest seasons. So anyway, give it a freeze-dried thumbs up, share the video around and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now. Yeah, wow. There you go. What a secure piece of kit. Now let's work it out.